Okay. Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Sharon with April Co-op, and I am here with Little Bits. And we are doing Pokemon Go. So we're starting out in our driveway. We're gonna try to find a place that we can walk around. So we have a good neighborhood. So we're gonna go ahead and start walking. Okay. Let's see what we got going on. Okay, now there's a lot nearby. So far we have a Pid a Pidgey, a Caterpie, a Ratatat, and I don't remember the name of that one. The big big one? Yeah. Okay. Um, I did catch one earlier. I made it real bit because I'm doing this with a little bit. But let me see if I can Okay, so I see some grass on my table. Let me look for maybe one of that. Okay. We're gonna head that way, see what we can get. But basically what this does is it encourages you to get out and walk around so that you're not always in inside playing games and stuff. Huh. Oh yeah. So let's see what we got. Okay. One of the things I will tell you, hold on, there's a cough. Standard disclaimer. Be aware of your surroundings. Make sure you're always safe. Safety comes first. Nothing is worth, you know, risking your life over, especially a Pokemon. Okay. So, let's take a little bit closer. The other thing is, is no trespassing. If there's a Pokemon in the grass or somewhere, uh, it can stay there. If it's in someone else's property. Okay, it looks like it's on this side. So, let's see. Where is it moving? If you wait, it'll. It's up in here somewhere. Okay, see it? Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we need to walk up a little more to see where the grass actually, where it is. Because again, these are people's houses. Oh, wait. Okay, there it is. You see? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's walk towards it a little bit more. And when we get close, when he's in our circle, try to catch him. So you and then you take the ball and you throw it at him. Mm -hmm. Pidgey. Okay, can you get a pigeon? Yeah! Okay. So, we got our first Pokemon. It's a Pidgey. Okay, so go ahead. Oh, nice. Okay, let's show them. See, so there's Pidgey. Mm. I don't know what that CP stuff is, but cool. He's neat. Okay, and mm. there's a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and try to find our next one. And, and I want to note, we did not have to go into anybody's yard. Okay. I have decided to track the um, big one. Okay. Do we know where he is? Which direction? Currently, we do not. Okay. Okay. Well, they're gonna. Okay, let's do this. Let's turn the screen a little. Since we're walking that way, we can kind of see the whole screen and everything. Are we zoomed out as far? Yep. Okay. If you see any of the grass moves, let me know. Oh! There's grass moving backwards. Back behind us? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's trying to be a wily one, huh? Okay. 
piece. Have you seen it since the first time? No, it has not appeared again. Okay, so let's see. I'll tell you what. This does get you out and get you going. You can see it again. You see it happening? Okay. Oh, over there. Oh, at the end of the street? Yep. Okay. Do you see how long this street is? Yep. <laughs> we got some walking to do. Oh, there's a pretty nice animal. I'm just saying. Tomorrow's trash day. Oh. But... There's a little symbol at the top that is floating over there. Yeah, that's the loading. And so, okay. I'm seeing two of them. You seeing two of them? Mm -hmm. One at the end. Oh, we leveled up. Oh, we did. Mm -hmm. and we got so, ten pokeballs. Let's see. Oh, cool. Oh, that one's. Oh, that one's on the street. Oh, they're on the street down there. Mm -hmm. Like, we have to walk all the way down and around. Well, so basically, we have to walk all the way down this street, all the way up and around that street. By then, we may be able to run into another one that's closer. We're just going to highlight a couple so you guys can see what it looks like. Yeah, they're in that neighborhood. That looks like the apartment complex almost, doesn't it? Well, you have to go on the highway to get the apartment complex. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get those ones, but we'll walk to the end of the street, and we will turn our right and see if we can't find any, because there's more and more populating. I've seen one, two, I think that's the third one. So what we'll do is we'll go down here, and if we don't see that one over here, we'll turn this way. So far we have another ratata. Okay. And then we have another, I think that's a Pidgey, I'm not sure. And we have the Pidgey that we caught. So. But as we're walking, do they level up? I think so. Okay. I don't know a lot about this Pokemon Go stuff, but I know there's like 150 or 250 times or something like 250. that. 250. That's crazy. I see five. You see five of them? That's what. So far we have one thing. We got a, we got a snake Pokemon. Well, here, walk on the concrete. I don't want you to twist your ankle. And it's the one, I'm not sure where it is, but... Well, that's okay, like I said, we'll get to the end and then we'll turn. In worst case scenarios, we work to level up one of ours, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, how bad can that be? Not very bad. So. Mm -hmm. This is the first time I've been out walking in our neighborhood. Okay, anything else going on? Uh, there is one down that way. Okay, so do we want to go left instead? Yes. Okay. So we'll go up. Let's go ahead and cross over. And then we'll turn left. Okay. <laughs> Pokemon. So, why don't you tell them a little bit about how you were introduced to Pokemon and what, what you like about Pokemon. Well, I was first introduced to Pokemon by my friend Charlie. He told me about Pokemon and the concept of Pokemon, and I didn't think I'd like it, but I decided to try it, and I got one of the games, and it was one of the best games I've ever played. Yeah? The original game that I got was Pokemon Black version. 
Pokemon Black version. Mm -hmm. Then I got Pokemon Y. Why? Because they didn't have Pokemon X. <laughs> oh yeah, that would be X Y, right? You mm -hmm. too. Okay, I'll look on the concrete. I want you to twist an ankle. Okay. I see it, it's up on the right hand side up here, right? Can you see it moving at all still? Yeah, it was over there that way. And someone's coming to me. I saw one also. Let's look. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I came off to the side. I saw that one over in the apartment complex. And I thought I saw one right up here, too. So, just keep an eye out. And the thing that I like about Pokemon is all the different types of Pokemon. Yeah. Like, they've added a few new types in the last game. They added Dragon and Fairy type. Yeah. My personal favorite is Electric and Fire types. Do you see anything yet? No, 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 do not. Does it look like it was, when I saw it, it looked like it was at the end of this, this street right here. Yeah. Let me see. There's one right back over there. Let's see. What can we look at? Mm -hmm. um, see, it's like he right over here. Let's see if we can't get him in our circle. Nope. Oh, that's a bummer. Hmm. Let's walk down and around and see if we can't find any more. I mean, this is a pretty large neighborhood. So. Well, the first Pokemon, you know where I caught him? In the middle of our living room. <gasps> There's a bunny. That was cool. We saw a real live bunny. Not a Pokey bunny. Is that a little Pokey bunny? Yeah. Oh yeah, that one's behind the house. Those blue squares are the houses. And we're on the road. But, oh, look at that mailbox. That's cool. It's a dragon. That is cool. Yep. Well, gargoyles have caught uh, on. Um, So, well, one of the things as a parent I think could happen, particularly with this, is instead of putting them in areas where children who are interested can't get to, ah, I think that they should put them in areas where people can get to. You know? Now, here's the thing. My GPS just lost signal. So, I don't know if we'll read any. You know what I'm saying? But, let's check up on these guys. Oh, we got some enough stardust to power up a little bit. Could we do it? I think we should. <laughs> what happened? Only 3 HP. <laughs> Only 3 HP? Mm -hmm. 3 HP is better than 0 HP. Right? Oh, yeah, look, the CP went from 14 to 28, though. Whatever CP is. Okay, but it is showing us as being oriented on the map, so that's a good thing. 
Okay, we'll go up here and then we'll cut down the side. How's that? The dirt road? And we'll see. You know where we should do this? It's near Mimi's house. Well, we know more people, so sorry about that. I know the car noises were pretty loud, but I wonder. Let's see. I wonder a lot of stuff. Oh, you can see them pigeon candies. Let's see pigeon candy. That's what you use to level them. That's kind of neat. What is this over here? Oh, it says percent. Okay, we're not doing too hard on the percent. We just started though. Number, HP, name, combat power. Oh, that's what CP stands for. Combat power. So. Huh. Yep. And you know what? He's doing this, and I wonder if we could battle him. I mean, you got to be what level five to go to the gym. In the gym is the gym where you fight. You do fight fight stuff. What does fighting gym masters do? Yeah. Huh. Oh, okay. They know what we're doing. This year we're smiling ways. What do you think? It's funny because there's a ton of people talking about this game. You know what we need to do sometimes. Oh wait, oh wait, come over here. Come over here. Here, see this one over there? Look, look. Let's move down the road a little bit so we can get him in our sight. It's a weedle. Okay, is he in our circle? Did we get him? Yeah! Oh, cool, we got a second one. We got a Weedle. Let me see, what's a Weedle look like? Oh, oh he's neat looking. Oh, he's a bug. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's a poison one. That makes sense. Okay. So we got two. And so we got all together we got three. Three. Cool. And you got 600 XP for doing so. Yes. We got 600 XP. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, now you, if, you know what will happen? What? As you're walking, you'll feel the phone, the phone vibrate. Mm-hmm. And that means there's one near you. There, you on the inside, sir. Whoa. Huh. There's a ghastly near us. That's cool. Okay. There's also Looks like a, there's a lot near us right now. There's a Radita. <gasps> I want to catch the Eevee. Okay. An Eevee you can evolve into any type of Pokemon if, as long as you have the right crystal. Oh, neat. Okay, so we now have three. Pokey people. Hey, we should name the Pidgey uh, anime bits. <laughs> or the Weedle. That's funny. I don't care who you are. Okay, so. I didn't realize. I'll tell you what, as an adult, you don't realize how out of shape you are until you start doing this. And then you realize. Mm -hmm. Don't you? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so let's... One of the things I'm noticing is online I'm seeing a lot of logs, but I'm not seeing a lot of screen recordings. And that is why I wanted to go ahead and do a screen recording is so that people can see what it's actually like. The work that goes into this game is crazy. I'm thinking about getting a, um, what are those bracelets called? The bracelets? We'll call it a pokey bracelet. Why not? I'm thinking about getting one of those so that I don't always have to have my phone out. But, eh, you know. So, using that, rather than just looking down at your phone all the time, it's a lot safer and a lot better for you in it. Exactly. Right now, it's okay because, like, I'm holding the phone doing commentary. So, little bits can, you know, keep an eye out and let me know if anything's coming. And when he holds the phone, I can keep an eye out. So this is definitely a partner game when it comes to being safe and watching out for the um, hazards. But the biggest thing is, is making sure that you're safe, stay out of people's yards, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, nope. But the last one I didn't see, I just felt the phone. And that's the thing is, is you can see the little things pop up, but that doesn't always necessitate, whoop, let me turn it this way, whoop, whoop, that doesn't always mean that there's none near you, because I so didn't see it. And our circle, it's a pretty big circle, it goes halfway into the yard on that side. Yeah, one of the things our house, did, our old house didn't have is it didn't have a lot of trees and stuff near. So I see him over here. You should see little bits. He's over here swatting at bugs and <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I don't know if you heard him, but he's right. If the bugs were Pokemon, we'd have probably all two hundred and fifty of them by now, you know? So Okay. Let me Keep an eye on the screen for a minute. You keep an eye on the surroundings. I see nada. As in not a dang thing. Currently, I'm on a quest. Yeah? I'm on the quest for finding Touch That Eevee. Is the Eevee's the big one? No. Which one's it? Which one? That one. Oh, the one that looks like a tricorn head? <laughs> but, just hold on to it, and you'll be able to feel the thing vibrate when we walk. The other thing is, is I think, if we walk tomorrow too, different ones will be different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is that true? Most likely. So. Okay. Clear. I'll tell you what, 94 degree weather is a kicker when it comes to Pokemon hunting, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. it, you see any dings on the map? No, I do not. Well, the good thing is, is we're back in GPS territory. You should see the frown on your forehead. <laughs> I'm glad that doesn't take you, too, because you'd get nothing but this. Mm. <laughs> I am seeing a lot of sparklies, though. A lot of sparklies? Mm -hmm. Heat stroke or on the screen? On the screen. Oh, okay. You mean the green ones? No, there's these little white ones. Oh. You know what those are? What? Those are air bubbles underneath my <laughs> my cover. <laughs> really? Yeah, really. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny though.
I think there's a um, thing that you can buy in the Poke Store yeah. where it allows you to get um, stuff that draws Pokemon near. Like the um, elixirs and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, there are. I don't think you would want, if there is, I don't think you would want to buy a um, Max Repel. No. That's one of the things about this game is that there are microtransactions, so parents need to be aware of that because, I mean, they start at 99 cents. I've seen them go up high, significantly higher than that. So let's go ahead and close out our loop. That'll end our episode. And then we can maybe do another episode tomorrow, mm -hmm. uh, depending on how I feel. It's a Monday, you know. So. Hopefully we can find one more Pokemon before we end the episode. That'd be nice. Okay. So. Okay. Let us. I don't see any. Oh, wait. Oh, I see something up here. Like, it looks like it's right across from our house. You'll see it in a minute. It looks like it's like right across from our house. See it yet? Mm-mm. Okay. Was it a grass? It was grass. That means it's probably the Eevee, since I have the Eevee tra being tracked. Hey, Did you see the grass moving yet? Oh, yep, right over there. Right where? It's an Oddish. Going out the side of my head, top of my head, whatever. Yeah, you didn't see your hair before I cut it. Go ahead, let's see if we can get maybe one more before the end of the stream. Yep, let's, it was right over there. You saw it? Okay, you're really close to the edge and it's a drop off. Okay. Okay, see? I see him. I see the thing. It's like in this guy's yard, right in front of the friggin' yacht lawnmower. So sorry if you hear a really loud noise. It shouldn't be coming up in our circle. Okay. Let's go ahead and cross over. It is in our circle now. Oh. In our circle? Yep, I just felt it vibrate. Okay, you felt it vibrate? And the EV is over there. Okay, let's back up a little bit. Okay, now, come on. Oh, there no. it is, there it is. That's a Weedle. That's okay, go ahead and catch it. Let's see if we can catch it. Cool. Come on, Weedle. Be our friend. Yay! We awesome. Got, we got another Weedle. Now we got two of them. Too bad we can't have one eat the other. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. And there is another one right over here. <laughs> I 
we are really close to it right now. It's funny because this is near where we caught the first one. Yeah. So our very first one. It says it's over here. Where is it? Right over oh, wait. here. Just zoom in. Where is it? <laughs> what does that do? It puts a bubble there. Oh, it should be right there. No. Okay, hold on. Let's move up this way a little bit. Or it may be right outside our bubble. I don't think we can get that one. It seems like it's throwing up grass, but it seems like it's just tossing up the grass, but that it's not there. Or, or it's far enough in that we can't get it. Do you think that maybe it's on the other side of the road? No. I don't either. It says it's right over here. So we don't want to go on the glass. Because it's their property. Yeah, untrack that one and maybe we can get this one. I don't even see the grass moving anymore, do you? Mm -mm. Oh wait, there it goes. Oh well. Well, we're coming up on the end of the episode anyway, so let's go. Oh, you know what I think it is? What? I think it's the pigeon for Scott. Oh, something vibrated. It keeps vibrating though, don't it? It was right over there. I think it's another weedle. Nope, it's a bell sprout. Really? Yep. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, that was poor aim, sweetie. Oh, awesome. Come on. Catch the bell sprout. Yay. Awesome. Okay. Here we go. Bell sprout was cut. So, remember, we started out with one. And now we've got like 80 bajillion. And now, oh, oh, we earned a medal. Five Pokemon. Oh, cool. That is awesome. So now you can see we got six Pokemon, but we have five different types, and we are going to head our way home, which is right up there-ish. So hopefully, she's doing the same thing. She's riding her bike doing it. Ah, that one keeps going, but I'm not going to, ah. Okay, so we did five today. Let's pull it out a little bit. Bloop, bloop. Oh, I'm all the way out. Oh no, there I go. So we walked down this street. We took a left. We walked all the way down to the corner, all the way around, took another left, and came all the way back around. Only? I don't think that's bad. I don't think it's bad either for our first expedition. I agree with you. I think it's really good for our first expedition. That one, though, that one keeps blinging us. Oh, you know what? 
I think that's one for another day. So we're going to go ahead and cross over because it's now safe. I'm curious. Let's walk in our backyard. Just to see what would happen because we're not trans we're not trespassing if we're in our own backyard. So let's go ahead and walk back here. Do a little off-roading. That'd be cool. If they were having a little pokey party <laughs> in our backyard. But you know what? I'm gonna walk over here. So that if there's any right on the edge of the fort or the um, easement, Is there anything? I don't not as of yet. Okay, but there's just one Pokemon in our backyard. I would be happy. I know, right? But if there's not one today, we should just try tomorrow. Okay. I mean, this backyard, we don't even fully cover our backyard with our circle. Let us see. Come on, pokey dog. We got dogs and chickens in our neighborhood. They surely draw pokey people. Pokey things. Oh, man. Doesn't look like we're going to be a winner. There's that feral cat, though. <laughs> Get my yard. That's a feral cat that keeps winding my dogs up. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to go ahead and close for this episode of Pokemon Go. First, first expedition out. Five Pokemon caught, one evolved. Let me see some. Here, let's look at something real quick, sir. Okay, let's see. If you had to upgrade another one, which one would it be? Um, I would say the Pidgey. The Pidgey? That's because you like Pidgeys. Let's see. Do we want to power up him? You can power him up twice. Oh, cool. Let's power him up twice. Takes a second. Oh, Lord. It does take a second. Oh, look. Oh, five CPs? No health. <laughs> Boo. Okay. Let's see. Eight more CPs and three health. Oh, great. So, we were able to upgrade three, caught five, and walked about a mile. So, that concludes our episode, and I hope to see you in the next one.